guys. So, uh, I don't know why I'm doing this, but, uh, I think it's more because I can. But I got a package today, and I'm going to do an unboxing of my new item. Let's get this open. Um, you're asking probably, what is this new item you speak of? Well, this new item, set that over there, is a, let's see, can I just wear this? I can lean it over. There you go. Is pedals for flying flight sim pedals. So I can do it's rudder pedals. Da, 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 da. Oh, you can't even see it. Let's get it out of the box. Oh, and we're gonna let you see underneath my desk. <laughs> Let's kick that out of the way. Alright. There we go. So, Sciatech. Come on. Focus in. There we go. Sciatech. Move it over. Rudder pedals. Ba 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 ba. So, let me uh, get it out and show you guys. Alright, so I figured it'd be easier if I just got the tripod out. So, we've got in here, we've got some documentation that has Velcro strips so you can, you know, set it down and it won't slide. Uh, and we've got some stickers, a CD, manual, I'm guessing. Man, the main event. Ah. Oop, oop. I meant to do that. Ah. Okay. Go. Then we have this, which I think you can still see. You can see it here. Uh, actually, what am I doing? You can just slip this back out, and I see it. So here we go. You got your rudders, toe steps, and you got your different rudders you can use. Uh, there's a whole bunch of mods that I'm going to, maybe not a whole bunch, but there's one mod that I will be doing here tonight, actually, uh, dealing with the tension, and it makes it a lot easier for smoother adjustment. There's not a uh, I don't know how to say it. If you can adjust your adjust your different uh, foot pedals, so you can get bigger feet, smaller feet, enormously large feet. Uh, but they got the toe brakes, tension changing for more tension, so it's harder to use the rudder pedals, or you can loosen them all the way, and it's a lot easier to use them. So. A friend of mine has them. They are great. What are these? These are. I don't know. Let's see. What are these? For lighter? Maybe? Maybe that? I don't know. What are these for? Dun, dun, dun. Yes, they are removable foot rest. Oh, so you can put your feet here instead of having them all the way up on here all the time. So we shall uh, throw those on just because we can. But there you go. Rudder pedals. So I got some rubber on here for your shoes. I would be wearing shoes if I would use this. Let me do it. Barefoot. It is USB. So, excuse me. Very easy to deal with. Um, but yeah, there's a tension spring in here that I'd like to do a mod that anybody that has one says to do so I shall do that right off the bat and we will do that so I will be right back once I get up the mod and everything and I'll show you guys how to do the mod all right we'll be right back all right so we've got our iPad with the mod and everything on it and what they said we need is you know the pliers Small crosshead screwdrivers, and I'm grabbing my knife and whoop, I'm 
to take these off. So what we need to do is take these four little dimples off the back. And that's why I grabbed the knife, because it's easiest. Because the screws are underneath those. So we will go whoop, pull them right off. It's just sticky. So no harm done there. Whoop, come on. Get off my finger. Here we go. So I hope everybody's had a good day today. Today has been a great day for me. Uh, it's my mother's birthday as well as being my sister went into labor today and I have a new niece. So it's been a good, good, good day. Okay, so this is supposedly supposed to only take 30 minutes, so start the clock. Of the time of same uh, the concentration. Uh, move all screws from backside. Don't forget the four screws that are hidden. Okay, so I'm supposed to take them all out. Um, we're going to grab this bag and lay it out like this, so that way I can tip this over. And this would be a lot easier if I just used my handy dandy. Uh, Drill because it'll go much, 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 much quicker. Do, do, do. Actually, let's use one of these. Small. I'll go with that small. Okay. Like this. Like this. Like this in there. This goes in here. Put the screws on the pad because it's the easiest. Try to get all these out. Just because for me I have a black rug and they're black screws. So I would lose them in an inch. In an inch? In an instant would be what I was trying to say. So 30 minutes, wow. Sorry, this is going to be a long video. Um, but yeah, I got, I, I looked at some uh, videos of GTA 5 today, and holy cow, it looks amazing. I don't know why, and I'm kind of upset that they're not coming out on a PC yet, which means, unfortunately for us PC people, it's going to be a port, which means it's gonna suck because no one, no one ever really knows how to do a port correctly and make it for a PC. So let's go back here with all the screws of the rubber pads. Okay, I think we got them all. We got them all. Anything underneath? Ew, it's gooey. Yeah. Okay. That is supposed to go not there, but it's supposed to be here. Ugh, gross. Alright, disconnect one side of the spring so that the mechanics of the pedal you know, work. Okay, so this spring here, can you see? Maybe I'll just zoom in. Okay, this spring right here. We are going to disconnect over here. We're just going to go. Oh. Grab a hold of it somehow and pull it out. Okay, so now that it's done. Okay, this small metal rod in the center, right here. There's a rod in here. We slide it. Which way? How do I get it out? Does this come off? Oh, that piece comes off. <laughs> oh, it's so gooey. We'll put it back in there. And then we slide this out. Okay. 
pin out. Turn the pliers, pull off the center ring, and hold it all together. Um, oh, whoa. This doesn't look like it's going to be fun. I'll just center this. I don't have to deal with that. So we go. Oh, hold on. That's oh that. Okay. Put that back in there. Okay, so now gently bend one of the side panels about one centimeter and move the turning middle section down to disconnect. So this goes up and then I try to pull down. So I disconnect it. Okay. Um do the same with the other side, okay? There we go, okay. Now move. Now both, move both. Now further move pedals to opposite directions. Okay. So we do this. Opposite directions there. Please. Opposite. Why is this so difficult? Opposite. There we go. Opposite direction. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of wires. I'm gonna pull it careful with the wires. Ew, let me get all this crap on my iPad. Okay. In the next pictures you will see the part that I'm looking for. This piece. Oops. Ah, oh, bugger. It did come off. Oh well. Yeah, let's play with that. This thing right there. I just wiped off. I wish I had a towel. We need to pull out the plastic piece. And pull out the plastic piece inside the tube and also the spring that's underneath it. So pull it out. Plastic and the spring. Put everything in exactly reverse order. Be careful with the wires. Make sure they move freely. Okay, okay. So we're gonna put that back away. So now we just do this in reverse order. And put this like this. And I'm really worried about this thing here. If I can, and you can't see, so we'll pull back. Okay, reverse order. Turn this up. Make sure that's on the track. Okay. So this is nice. Then we got this one underneath it first. What is it? Just slide it there. There we go. There we go. I can't go. Oh, okay. Don't bend the wires. Gosh, don't bend wires. It'd be very bad. Okay. Then this one. Oh boy. Turn 
attention and I don't know. Almost. There we go. Right. And then how did this go? This one. inside of it is nasty. Wow. Wow. Get in there. There we go. Slide it in. Okay. Okay. Just squeeze it so you get it flush. And it's in. Okay, we still got free movement here. So now the last thing is this spring. Alright, so we've got everything uh, fixed. But I go. I'm going to put it back together. Um, and one thing, one thing I uh, did read is there's a sprocket in there, and make sure it's centered when you have both feet, um, both of the feet in the same position, make sure the sprocket is centered. Because if it's not, then the computer will recognize that it's already, you know, one side to the other. So, uh, make sure of that. And I'm still not 100% sure it worked. But we'll see here in a little bit. And I will join you again when I get on the computer. All right, see you guys. Hey guys, welcome back. We're on the computer now. Uh, we're going to open up the control panel, and as you, we can see, we fixed it. It works perfectly. Um, it's only, we got right toe, left toe brake. We got rudder right, rudder left, and it sits in the center. So, yay, we got the sprocket correct. I'm happy about that, or cog, or whatever you want to call it, correct. So, with that, we are going to be playing some more flying games like DCS, or A-10 Warthog, or the Huey, or the P-51, or even flying around in Battlefield. So hopefully, um, pretty soon we'll be having some awesome videos for you guys from flying around. And if we are flying around in DCS, we will be doing that with Ryman. So he'll be coming back, and I hope you had a wonderful day. Uh, that's about it for me and if you haven't seen some videos i know some of the subscription issues we were having are still going on so if you haven't seen lately any videos they're there just go to the channel and check them out um give me some likes and some subs if you aren't subbed uh, some likes and some comments if you have any idea of what to do uh, if you have any suggestions so good or bad i uh, will read them so you have yourself a wonderful evening and a wonderful rest of the week, and have a good one. Bye.